Have you ever wondered how small economies managed to stabilize their currencies amidst the whirlwinds of global financial markets? The answer lies in a somewhat obscure but fascinating financial mechanism known as the currency board. To understand the concept of a currency board, picture a small country, let's call it Econoland. Econoland, like many other nations, is eager to maintain a stable economy. However, due to its small size and vulnerability to external shocks, it struggles with currency volatility. Enter the currency board. The currency board is a monetary authority that aims to maintain a fixed exchange rate with a foreign currency. It does this by holding reserves of the foreign currency equal to 100% of the domestic currency it has issued. In Econoland's case, suppose the currency board decides to peg its currency, the Econo, to the US dollar. For every Econo in circulation, the currency board must hold an equivalent value in dollars in its reserves. This way, the value of the Econo becomes tied to the value of the dollar, resulting in a more stable currency. But what happens if there's a sudden demand for Econos, causing its value to rise? Well, to maintain the fixed exchange rate, the currency board must increase the supply of Econos. It does this by buying more dollars with Econos, effectively increasing the amount of Econos in circulation and bringing its value back down. On the flip side, if there's a decrease in demand for Econos, causing its value to fall, the currency board reduces the supply by selling Econos for dollars, effectively decreasing the amount of Econos in circulation and raising its value. Now, this system isn't without its challenges. For one, it requires a high level of fiscal discipline. Econoland can't just print more Econos whenever it feels like it. It can only issue new currency if it has enough dollar reserves. This can limit the country's ability to use monetary policy as a tool for managing the economy. Moreover, a currency board system can expose a country to external shocks. If the dollar experiences a sharp devaluation, the value of the Econo would also plummet, potentially causing economic instability. Yet despite these challenges, currency boards have proven to be a valuable tool for many small economies looking to stabilize their currencies and foster economic growth. In summary, a currency board is a monetary authority that maintains a fixed exchange rate with a foreign currency. It does this by holding reserves of the foreign currency equal to the amount of domestic currency it has issued. While this system can limit a country's monetary policy flexibility and expose it to external shocks, it can also provide stability for smaller economies that might otherwise struggle with currency volatility. So, next time you wonder about the stability of a small economy's currency, think of our friend Econoland and its trusty currency board.